question. So wh what is it that you love about the control system integration business? Well, it's a, <clears throat> it's a difficult one to say. What, what I'll, uh, I do have an answer for you, but it probably won't be a short one. Um, you can elaborate. So let me, let me say that what you described is what I'd like to call filling the vacuum. And I, I talk to my team all the time about um, that. That's actually how we've structured the business. Um, we, we have an incredibly flat hierarchy in our organization. We're very low on management. In fact, uh, part of what makes IntelliC integration revolutionary is the way that we've structured our organization. So rather than having managers who are in charge, non-technical managers who are, in, who are in charge of the operations of the technical engineers, what we've done is we've created managers of subject matters who have the final say over their subject matter. And, and we don't do a whole lot about in terms of um, defining people's jobs roles, job roles. In fact, what we do is we create an environment where people can naturally gravitate to the areas that they feel strongest. And we call that filling the vacuum. Yeah. That is, if you, see, if you see a job that needs to be done, then you do it. And it sounds simple, um, but I assure you it's not. <laughs> yeah. um, in terms of what I, what I love about systems integration, um, that really goes to the core of how I grew up. Um, so uh, I grew up in upstate New York. Um, you know, my mom passed away when I was seven and, and I got adopted by um, uh, I had my half brother's father. And, uh, and I grew up in a very humble family, a very uh, a family of limited means. Um, and I grew up in upstate New York in the 80s when manufacturing jobs all left. Um, and at the time, I thought it was um, just corporate greed that I was seeing my friends, parents who had they went from middle class and upper middle class working in manufacturing environments to working in gas stations and struggling to make ends meet. And what I discovered in college was that that actually wasn't what happened. What the reason manufacturers left the Rust Belt is because their costs outstripped their revenue. And that's because they failed to do what it is that Americans are great at, and that is innovate, leverage technology to do more with less. Yeah. Um, I, I went and I got my degree, worked my way through college, and, and uh, I got a job working in a salt mine. And um, I had no technical background. I mean, that's not true. I, I worked on some video games when I was a kid. I had a five volt DC certification. And um, uh, a supervisor of mine, it's just so weird how I got into this business. I was working um, in a salt mine and I was driving a lube truck. So I was just a laborer driving a loop truck, filling up equipment with diesel and hydraulic fuel every day. I was like 25 years old. And my supervisor, a guy named Joe Rolf, who to this day is one of my closest mentors, um, he had he saw that I could read IEC drawings and they had some this some mining equipment that was all PLC, um, PLC controlled and remote control operated. And they had this roof, it was German engineered. It, it was called an SMAG roof bolter. It hadn't run in like a year. It was a half a million dollars, this machine, this piece of machinery, and it hadn't run in a year. And he saw that I could read. He knew I could read German and that I could read IEC drawings. And he said, can you read this drawing? And I said, yes. And he said, well, we've got, I'm going to send you with an electrician. And we've got this roof bolter that hasn't run in a year. It's out there in a, in, in, and just go see what you can do. So I went out there with this electrician. I spent the first day just learning i didn't know anything about automation or plc or anything i had to learn it all from the ground up day one the electrician was with me day two he just left <laughs> uh day three um i i really was getting close to getting this fixed and on day four i i went into work all excited saying today is the day i'm gonna make this thing run yeah and i went out there and i and it was so crazy because i actually found a short in, in a piece of hydraulic hose conduit and I fixed the short. I just used a, a spare wire that was in the enclosure and I hit that start button. It was, it was supposed to run up, drill a hole, come down, advance the magazine, put a roof bolt in and torque it. And it ran. And it was the first time in a year everyone had worked on it. Wow. I started doing the moonwalk and you know all that stuff. And that's really where, how I got started. Joe, uh, so Joe uh, put me in an electrical apprenticeship program. And, and then from there I discovered that um, that I had an act for this. And so I, I came up with a plan to to help uh, manufacturers do more with less. And it was a 12-year a plan, and, and I saw that to fruition, which is where I am today. Awesome.